What's up, YouTube? Southern Comic Geek coming to you with another haul video. And I was greeted by a lovely male person with plenty of packages here. A lot of goodies. Um, some of them bought off of uh, eBay and some of them bought from members of the community. And uh, just want to thank, I, I'll tell various members, people that I buy from, hey, I'm done. Go ahead, ship me my books. I'll get back on their auction and say, "Hey, give me, give me that right there. Give me that right there." Then I end up trying to buy more to try to fit into the box because I want to make the most out of the box. Anyway, I guess not all else. But um, so yeah, I appreciate everybody taking the time to uh, check out this video, and uh, hopefully everybody's staying well and healthy during uh, this time. And if you haven't already, be sure to hit that subscribe and the thumbs up button. Be sure to check out my 400 subscriber video to see how you can enter to win some good prizes there. So this is not a Spider-Man box, although I have uh, ordered two Spider-Man booth boxes. And we'll be doing a video when those finally come in. Last time I ordered some, they um, I got so fed up with waiting on my stuff that I requested a refund, which they gave me. And um, so decided to give them another shot. Maybe I'll get a GP. Don't think I'll ever get up to the ranks of Chad RCG and his luck at those type of things, but uh, we'll see what we can do. So these came from the boy who had seven. Uh, near and dear to my heart since I'm the boy who had six. Uh, anyway, he did a... Um, video uh, auction the other day on somebody's channel sorry I forget who it was and was able to pick up some books from him first off we got powers of x number one this is a perillo variant got i believe that's rasputin on the front cover really cool variant there we got batman detective comics number 1001 when everybody was dogging on Tom King, everybody said, man, you really need to be into Detective Comics because that's really age-old Batman. Never did, but uh, got these on the cheap and so decided to pick them up. 1,002. 1,003. 1,004. 1,005. So, uh, got a good little run of those right there. Um, <clears throat> when you start buying stuff from somebody, sometimes you buy stuff that you're kind of on the fence of, just because you're like, man, I've got a box anyway, go ahead and throw it in. That was kind of the deal there. So, we got uh, Amazing Spider-Man 240. And uh, when I got that one, he threw in this Spider-Man 2099 Unlimited. Batman Who Laughs, number two. This is, I forget which variant this is, but as you can see from the thing, it's got the Spider-Man booth, uh, $15 inflated price tag on there. I didn't pay that. but uh, And then also the Grim Knight, number one. This is a Jay Ancelotto cover. That might be Ancelotto on the other one, too. If you recognize it, feel free to uh, leave a comment down below to correct me in the uh, video when it posts. So we'll see who this one came from. I do not recognize that address. I try to, when I buy stuff offline, I try to go ahead and put it in my CLZ app so that I do not uh, forget about it and accidentally buy it a second time before it comes in. I also try to write myself notes, but as I've said before, sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. Or I guess sometimes I work it and sometimes I don't. Well, uh, I know which one this is. So, <clears throat> as I've said plenty of times before, you know one of my videos can't be a video without some valiant love, right? So, did you notice all the shine, the gleam right there? You know it's got to be from the 90s, and it is. It's Turok number one. And, of course, what collection would uh, not be complete, or be complete, rather, without a Turok number one? But this is a little bit different to rock number one because you can see that this is the gold version. So Valiant had several of these for which they did the gold 
uh, deal. These were went out to uh, dealers, and uh, so decided to pick up the gold version of that. So uh, I was supposed to go to a con earlier this year. Bart Sears was going to be there, and I was going to get him to sign my tour up. Unfortunately, I wasn't able to go, and of course now all these cons have been pushed back. So maybe I'll be able to get to a con one day and get him to sign that Turok, the gold one, as opposed to the red one. I was just going to get him to sign my copy, one of my copies of the red one, but that didn't work. So this one is from Hack79. If you have not checked Hack out. Be sure to check him out. I just bought it. So this is what I was talking about. I just told him, go ahead and mail that. And so what Hack does on his channel on Sunday nights, he goes ahead and drops what he's going to be selling or some of what he's going to be selling that next week. He's on Zcollect's channel, another channel. Be sure to check out. But uh, he, he sells on that channel there. And uh, it's a late night thing. Late night might be not be your deal. Uh, so... If it's not, uh, Hacks Up is on his YouTube page the Sunday before. And you can hit him up on IG. And if you like anything that he's showing, either he'll tell you the price in the video or you'll just ask him on IG. In either case, you can get it before. And that's what I did with these. I noticed his video. I said, yeah, I want to see that. He told me the price and I picked it up. Do the same thing last night. He dropped a video and I said, oh, yeah, go ahead. So some of these I won. I think one of these I won. He was telling me I won something. Ah, uh, okay, this is what I won. Right. Okay. All right. So this is the, uh, he, he does a drawing to give away stuff too. This is the uh, Comic Tom uh, deal that came in those packages. Already had one. I'll add this one to my collection for now. Uh, then we got Star Wars Dark Empire. A little Dave Dorman action on the cover there. Number one of six. Then I picked up a classic uh, Star Wars 68. The Origin of the Mandalorians. Great yellow cover. Got a little Boba Fett action on the front. Star Wars 70, kind of soft collecting this Star Wars Marvel run. Some of these, um, I must have got this one because it was a Joker cover. So, uh, or maybe he threw it in. So uh, Shadow of the Bat, number 38, because I don't collect the Shadow of the Bat, but uh, always can dig a Joker cover, can always get into that. Batman Detective Comics, number 16. And he might have threw these in. A lot of the sellers are really good about just throwing stuff in they know you like. So uh, Batman Detective Comics, number 16. A little more Joker action there. Then we got Batman 307. A little newsstand goodness. This is the first appearance of somebody, but the name escapes me. If you know, be sure to leave that down in the comments below. Share the gift of knowledge with the community. Uh, Web of Spider-Man number 20. New standy. New stand. Uh, but yeah, so these are the 25th anniversary covers. I'm kind of soft collecting those as well. Some of them are a little easier to come by than others. Catwoman number 11. A little art germ action on Catwoman there. Not somebody you want to meet in the back alley there. Tear your throat out, man. What's wrong with you? Okay. So, um, Postal Service, although they seem to be you know, uh, they're working. They're obviously essential, like a lot of us are. And um, doesn't seem to be quite uh, keeping up with stuff like they used to. I mean, I know that there was always room for error anytime you have humans in here. Oh, that's pretty cool. Tell me what. Stuart Sager. Wow. Is Kenneth Bob Sager? 
Got a little Wolverine action going on there. I gotta remember, I didn't pay for the poster. Must be a Jimmy. I gotta remember who that was that sent that to me. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I know who this is. And he asked me if I like Wolverine, so yeah, I know who this is. So, um, so yeah, this is Archangel. Uh, he is oftentimes, at least in the chat, on various um, community auctions. And I picked up these books from him. He asked me if I liked Wolverine, so that's how I remember that was him. And, um, so that's a pretty dope, uh, pretty dope uh, poster there. It looks like Bill Sienkiewicz work, and uh, but it's the Stuart Sager. Not familiar with him, but his art does look like Sienkiewicz. All right, got Joker, Year of the Villain. This is the Matthew cover. There's a virgin variant of that, but this is the one with the trade dress on it. It's pretty cool. Hulk number one. So um, I did not buy this uh, standalone. These were like part of a package. And um, so it was part of the deal. But uh, this is like the first Red Hulk. Uh, and this is a Michael Turner cover. So I'm going to check that out. It's got a few ticks on it down the side, but uh, probably find somebody who is a bigger Turner. Well, I don't know why anything against Turner. A bigger Red Hulk fan, maybe, uh, than I am. This is one of the reasons why I wanted this lot because this is a Jim Lee and a Michael. Uh, this no signed by Jeff Loeb and Michael Turner. A Jim Lee cover. So that's pretty cool. Down, down there and up there. And then this is signed by Even Van Skyver, who has his own YouTube channel. He's very vocal about uh, things he thinks about the uh, comic book community there. So um, he did this run on uh, Green Lantern. He does, uh, is it Cyber Frog? And uh, so, yeah, so go ahead and sign that. That's cool. This is the one of the main books I was wanting to go in this lot size of signed ones was the Spider Geddon, the uh, John Christopher um, negative space variant. I got the Spider Woman and the Wolverine one. I wanted to pick up that one as well. This was kind of an added bonus there. X23, the variant edition, number seven. And I believe uh, X23 is probably one of the gender swaps that they did for all the characters um, one of the more successful ones um, and you know an unsuccessful one would be like a Medius Cho you know he was an okay backup character but he sucked at being the Hulk at least that's my personal opinion and so uh, you know they put all these gender swaps just like Sam Nova not a gender swap he's just a I guess a racial swap um, and younger version of Nova, you got nothing against him, but Richard Ryder is the Nova most people know and are affectionate for. Let's see what we got in this package here. This one came from South Carolina. Carolina. What do we got, Carolina? Okay. Looks like a slab. Bubble wrap. Saves it. <laughs> the coin uh, Two Brothers comics. Let's see here. Pull tabs, people, pull tabs. So. How is everybody been uh, doing without new comic book day? Hopefully you've been taking advantage of some of the options. I know I was on a um, chat earlier today and they were talking about uh, prices of things because of all this that's going on, that uh, people are more willing to work with people on prices on eBay as well as um, all these auctions that are going on. I know 
even on yesterday, last night, there was a, there was auctions upon auctions going on. Just get on one and check it out. Some of the auctions are bigger about uh, like dollar books, filler books, that type thing. And some auctions, are, you know, the big boys. You know, you better better come with your pocket that's ready for those type of auctions. So in either case, you're able to uh, get some deals, find some books you might have been looking for, and <clears throat> not have to pay inflated prices because these people are, uh, just to be perfectly honest, these people are uh, getting your PayPal friends and family. They're not paying taxes on stuff like a business normally would, and they're not having to pay fees on eBay. So you're able to get uh, you know, a better price as a result of that. Plus, you're only bidding against people that are in the chat. You know, There might be up to 100 people in the chat. It was like 200 in the one I was in last night, but for the most part, you're 200 people. I mean, 100 people max, right, for the most part. So you're not bidding against as many people as what eBay is putting you against. Um, so this is another one I picked up last week. I really didn't expect it to be here this quick. Um, and to be honest, uh, this is one of those lessons learned. Jason, check your books before you buy them or you bid on them. So this is the Solar Man of the Atom. Um, I was thinking that this is the first appearance of the Eternal Warrior, but I might be wrong. Or um, CGC just does not uh, acknowledge it. But uh, this is the black cover. So, you know, any of these black covers are extremely hard to find in high grade. And, of course, this one's older, so even worse. Boy, there's some serious, two, just two ticks on the back, but they are some serious ticks. <coughs> Excuse me. And so uh, this is signed by Bob Layton, 9.2. So uh, pretty cool. And I um, wanted to add this to my collection, but this is what I wasn't – Second edition. So there were some first editions that I could have got for the same price or cheaper, but they were not CGC slapped and they were not signed. So, you know, you just got to kind of take it in their perspective. And they could have been higher than a 9.2, so who knows. Uh, but this is the one that I got. So this is the one we're going to go with is the second edition. Um, especially the first edition. They, these things range fairly wildly. <laughs> And this is another Valiant Goodness from the 90s. And uh, Solar is not one of those series that I really got into. To me, he was kind of like Superman, like overly powerful. But he, they used him, and he, for those of you who might not be familiar with him, uh, he was a uh, gold key character like Magnus and Turok. And that's why those three are not in the Valiant universe now. They're, I think Dynamite does has the rights to them now, but... Um, they utilize them to um, introduce other maybe lesser or new characters. And so people might have had uh, knowledge of Magnus. They might have had knowledge of uh, Solar, but they didn't have knowledge of these new characters. And so they used them to introduce them. And so Solar Man of the Atom uh, introduced Eternal Warrior, which was a valiant property. And, of course, he was one of the big characters during Unity, where they brought all the characters together in a combined universe. Um, and Magnus was used to introduce Rai and uh, all those type of things. But, uh, yeah, this was the black cover. Ooh. It's funny. Up, down here at the bottom of the black cover, there's nothing on the black cover except black and the embossed logo. And then the two signifying that it's the second print. But uh, Barry Windsor Smith still put his initials down there at the bottom. So, okay. Um, hope they didn't pay him nothing for that. Um, so, yeah, so this is a 16 page uh, solar insert by Jim Shooter, Barry Windsor Smith, and Bob Layton. And Bob Layton is on the art. This is a Jim Shooter story. Don Perlin, Stan Drake, John Dixon. So, some really big names um, in the industry. Of course, for those of you who watched my video, Don Perlin was one of the first people. He was on the uh, first issues of Bloodshot, and then I got a sketch cover already done by him not that long ago. And uh, that I was glad to get because I doubt he's going to be doing the 
the scene anytime soon, as old as he is. And Bob Layton was another one that was supposed to be, or that was at the Texas show that I was supposed to go to and didn't get to go to. But he's supposed to be at SummerCon in Washington State that I still plan to go to. And it, it was far enough back that more than likely it'll still happen. So uh, I'm going to go, of course, he's already signed this one, but I've got some Exo Man of War and stuff like that that I'm going to get him to sign as well. So glad to uh, get this picked up. And so uh, hopefully, again, everybody is staying safe out there. I really appreciate you uh, taking the time out of your day to or night to check this video out. Be sure to subscribe and like uh, this video. Uh, share the channel so that uh, we can get up to uh, 400 subscribers and do another giveaway. Uh, everybody stay safe. Until next time, keep reading and keep collecting.